Thomas King is an executive in the world's largest internet exchange based in Frankfurt. Almost every email, video, and data file that's sent in Germany passes through these cables. This digital data flow has more than tripled over the past 10 years. The amount of internet traffic is measured in terabytes per second. At peak periods, his company handles 5.5 terabytes per second. You can picture this as 1.2 million people sitting at home, streaming a video in HD quality on their television, mobile phone or smartphone, all at the same time. That combined data volume is what travels through DKIX Frankfurt each and every second. Mareike Jakobshagen works for Interaction, a company that provides data center services at internet exchange points. Interaction is currently expanding its operation in Frankfurt. The new facilities are being built on former industrial sites, which are still relatively affordable. Frankfurt is a hub for fiber optic networks, including ones that connect to Eastern Europe and beyond. Vast sums go into maintaining their infrastructure. This new complex, for example, cost about 100 million euros. We build a new data center every year. Demand is very high. Sometimes we'll already have leased half the space in a new data center before it's even opened its doors. Security is extremely tight at data centers, though none of the data that passes through these air-conditioned rooms is actually stored here. It's all through traffic, made up of a vast number of connections from all over the world. But how secure are the data superhighways that entire industries rely on? If one internet hub, a larger internet hub, were to malfunction, it could have an effect on an entire region. You might see slower response times, for example. But generally speaking, the global internet would still work. Colleagues in the US wouldn't really be affected by a malfunction in Europe, for instance. Maximilian Brandl is a software developer who specializes in industrial digitalization. His company was commissioned by a control box manufacturer to build the smart factory of the future, a showcase for what might be possible in Industry 4.0. For example, the control boxes are designed on a computer. The 3D virtual prototype is transmitted online to the production area, where it's then built. Without internet hubs, this transmission would be impossible. We have all the prerequisites here. We have inexpensive sensors, software. We have great automation components. We have cloud applications. We have telecom infrastructure. That's everything we really need to make the next quantum leap. I'm seeing new ideas, new use cases developing everywhere. Industry 4.0 will also give Thomas King's Internet Hub a major boost. The quantity of data in circulation will also increase due to the rise of autonomous vehicles and virtual and augmented reality. I can't tell you exactly which of these technologies will come out on top, but I can say that the future will bring increasing digitalization. As our world goes ever more digital, at work and at home, more and more of our lives will pass through cables like these. Data is the currency of the future, and that currency will depend on data hubs like this one in Frankfurt. <laughs>